Hi there, Steve Better from Autodesk in the UK with you today. Um, I just want to share with you this example of some part optimization using um, iLogic that's now embedded directly into Autodesk Inventor 2011. My colleague from um, the iLogic team out in the US, uh, David Ream, um, sent me this example um, of this part file that he's put together where the, the length of the component is being set based on the mass of the, um, of the component that's set by the user. Now it's just one rule, one iLogic rule um, that you can see here on screen uh, where we're capturing the material, we're capturing the mass and then using the iLogic rule so that when we set the target mass that we want um, based on um, some parameters, so for example here we've got a material parameter and we've also got a width and a height parameter the length will actually be determined automatically based on those inputs that we specify. So let's see how this works. Um, if I set the material, so in this case I'm changing this from aluminium to steel, you'll notice that the length automatically updates because we've got a mass target and it's that mass target that sets the length in the iLogic rule. Depending upon the, the target that we set, iLogic, the iLogic rule runs and then sets the length accordingly based on that um, on those values. We can also set the width and the height in this case um, and they will also automatically adjust the length because the mass of the component will automatically update um, because of the iLogic rule. So if you are working with components where mass is critical and you want to set a target then you can quickly and easily use iLogic which is built directly into Autodesk Inventor 2011 to create this quick rule um, and ensure that your components always meet the mass target that you require. See you soon.